Come in. Good morning. Laura. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, no, I was just reading the morning paper here. Come on in. Thank you. Yes, I started to read the paper myself, but it, it's just the fool on that mess with Luke. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the boy wanted to get in the slip. Mm-hmm. What you got there in the back? Some coffee. I stopped by Kelly's, thought you might like a cup. Are oh, you some kind of a mind reader? Mm-hmm. But I was a little fuzzy on how you liked it. From you? Anyway. Well, then how about regular with sugar on the side? That's perfect. That's just how I like it. Great. Okay. I hope you got one in there for yourself. Well, I did. But uh, I'm really not going to take too much of your time. That's okay. I've got all day for you. I should have called first, I know. But I just thought, well, I'll stop by and take my chance. I'm glad you did. What's up? Well, I was wondering if there was still an opening for your secretary. Did you see the empty desk when you came in? Mm-hmm. Well, I've been thinking about it. And Mr. Quartermain's very nice to work for. And uh, the ELQ is pleasant. But uh, you're right. I, I really do need a place to learn and, and grow. Well, you're going to learn here, all right. That's for sure. Well, then, if the position's still open, I'd love to be your secretary. When well, can you start? You mean it? Well, just as long as you don't go changing your mind again. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm sure about this. I promise. Okay. Job's yours. Great. Oh, great. Oh, listen, though. I want you to know that I'm not the world's greatest typist. And I don't even take shorthand. That's okay, because I do most of my work on the phone here, you know, and I dictate very, very slowly. Ah, good. I'm going to be your best secretary ever. Yeah, you probably will be. <laughs> <clears throat> so when can you start? Well, I, I really do need to give Mr. Quartermain some notice. Next week? Sooner the better. Okay, well, then you have a deal there, Miss Templeton. Great. Why don't, uh, why don't we seal it up with a kiss, huh? Scotty, I just... Oh, excuse me. Listen, uh, there's a waiting room out there. Why don't you wait out there, okay? Miss Templeton and I are not finished with our business. My uh, receptionist is a little late this morning. Would you come in? Thank you. Thank you for seeing me at such short notice. I know you're a very busy man. Well, never too busy to see the Corsos. Won't you sit down? Thank you. I'm uh, sorry I can't offer you a cup of coffee. My receptionist usually makes it, and I'm all thumbs when it comes to that confounded oh. machine. <laughs> That's all right. I've had my quotient for the morning, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. You uh, said over the phone that this was urgent. So nothing has gone wrong at the oil field, has it? Oh, no. Things are going splendidly. I'm more confident than ever. Well, that's a relief. In fact, it's my confidence in the project that brings me here. You thinking about expansion? Oh, in time, yes. Right now, I'm thinking about extension. Returning some of the profits to the community. After all, we owe a great deal to Port Charles. <laughs> well, if things keep going as well as they have, it seems to me that Port Charles owes you a great deal. It's always been our policy to give to the community rather than just take from it. I'm thinking about making a contribution to the General Hospital. They can always use it. Good. I understand you're on the board. Yes, yes, indeed. Then I've come to the right man. I need some advice so that I know that uh, where we make our contribution, it will do the most good. Good morning. How goes it? I am busy, very busy. And before you ask, because you're going to ask, because everybody asks, no, there is no change in Dan Mooney's condition. Unfortunately, he is still in a coma. Thank you. Uh... You know, I know what the papers are saying about Luke and everything. For some reason, I guess because I know him, I just can't believe any of that. Can you? No, I can't. And no, you can't see him. Who? Dan Rooney. You did come here to see Dan Rooney, didn't you? No, I came for the list. The list? The list you were going to get me. The list that I was going to get you. The list of commercial vehicles that come and go from General Hospital. The list of commercial vehicles. Oh, the trucks! Yes, the truck oh. on the day that Luke disappeared. <laughs> gotcha, 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 gotcha. Now I know what you're talking about. Thank goodness. Can I have it, please? Um, as soon as I can remember where I put it. Amy! Just a second, just a second. Every second really counts, hon. There are 50 million things that go on in this hospital, Joe, you know? This isn't the only... Let's see. You got yeah. it? 
the fire department. You don't want that hand. But do you want me to come around there behind you and help you look for it? No, you can't come behind here and help me look for it. Would you mind hurrying? I, I mean, if it's really important... I am hurrying. Calm have... down. I am hurrying as fast as I can. What is so important about a bunch of trucks? If you could help us find Luke. Uh, possibility, yes. Well, I guess that would figure. I mean, that's how they do it in the movies, right? Whenever anybody escapes from jail, they always jump into the back of a pickup truck or something like that. That would seem like Luke. Could we stop uh, talking and, and start looking for the list, please? Joe, um, you know, I can look and talk at the same time, kind of like walking and chewing gum. And that's only making me nervous. I'm uh, sorry. Okay. okay. You got it? Uh, Amy's looking for it. And don't you give me a hard time about it, Robert. Me? Never. I have every confidence in you. Thank you. Listen, you have to check on your own. You can't stay. I got a call from that uh, Morton chap at the FBI. I'm on my way over there now. Fingerprints? Well, I've got something. I've got to find out what. Okay, well, you check that. I'll check this, and then I'll get back to you later. Where? Make it the star. I'm going to finish up back there sooner or later. Okay. And uh, good luck. What are you doing? That old Kelly trick. What's that? It's called praying to St. Anthony. Yeah? I think it works because this is it. Thank you, St. Anthony. Thank you, Amy. There you go. But this is no good. That's exactly what you asked for. Well, it took me a week to check all these out. Not my problem. Lots. People come here every day. Trucks in and out of here all the time. But I have to know which trucks come in, when they come in, and when they go out. Joe, you asked me for a list of companies that service General Hospital on a daily basis. That's it. I, I, I don't think you understand. This, this won't do me any good. Well, well, that's exactly what you asked for. But, but honey, I have to have the exact times on, on the list. Well, you never said anything about time. Well, I thought I did. Uh, I really did. Maybe I didn't make myself too clear. But you see, uh, I have to know exactly which trucks come in, when they come in, when they go out, and this is not going to do me any good. Uh, excuse me. Good morning, Joe. Amy? Morning. Yes. Morning. Uh, it's morning. It's uh, not a good one. Ah, well, you know, maybe I could help. If I'm correct, I believe you're looking for the check-in, check-out roster. Is that not right? Thank you. Somebody heard me. All you had to do was ask for it. Well, yeah, I really, at the time, I thought I was uh, getting, trying to do that. You could have made yourself a little more clear. Amy, excuse yeah. me, dear. It is right over there under the counter. There. Yeah. Okay. Thank you more than you'll ever know. Thank you desperately. <laughs> Can you find it, Amy? Yep. Exactly where you uh -huh. said it was. Good. Next time, Joe, ask for what you want. <laughs> I really wish I could pay you more money to start with. Oh, that's more than fair. Well, you know, after three months, there'll be a raise, and then raise after another three months, and sky is the limit. Well, it's not just the money, you know. Yeah, well, I'm going to be making a lot of it, and you're going to be helping me. Well, I want to help with everything. Well, it's already improving now that you're here. I have to admit, I'm really very excited. I think this is going to be one of the best challenges of my life. Well, you're certainly equal to it. That's why I'm hiring you. Thank you. I just wish you could start right now. Me too. But I, I do have my obligation to Mr. Quinn. So. Well, that's okay, because it'll give me a chance to get the uh, front office cleaned up and everything. Well, you don't have to do that. My secretary doesn't do any cleaning. <laughs> that should be my line. Don't worry, you'll have plenty to do around here. So when do I get to start? Next week? Next week. But we're not going to wait that long to celebrate, because I'm taking you to lunch today, young lady. You are? Can you make it? I think I can swing it, yes, as long as I get back to work right now. How about, um, how about Dino's, 12 o'clock? Can we make it a little bit lighter, because I have tens of work to do? One o'clock, then. Great. Okay. See you then. See you then. I there hope Mr. Quartermain's not going to be too upset with me, though. Well, you tell him that his loss is my gain. I will. See ya. Uh-huh. Uh, Heather, you can come in now. So, what 
what was little Mary Sunshine doing in your office? Her morning? name is Laura Templeton, and she's my new secretary. She taking out her salary? Trade. Knock it off, we Certainly you? looked that way when I walked in. Don't project your morality onto other people. I'm sure she's already had a large enough dose of yours. Shut up, Heather. I was just wondering, uh, what kind of little arrangement the two of you had worked out? That's really none of your business. Is that so? Seems to me I heard you say we were partners one time. You and I have a different understanding. She has nothing to do with it. Why should I trust you? Because I say so. Do you understand that? I understand. Good. Now, speaking of business, what are you doing here? My day off. Came by to visit you. Oh, so you came in for a little chit-chat, huh? Actually, it's a professional office visit. Oh, yeah? What do you got? Alan Quartermain. Oh, yeah? Well, you work fast, don't you? Right here in my hip pocket. <laughs> Pretty sure yourself, aren't you? I can have Alan any time I want him. Oh, yeah? I'm impressed. Why don't you prove it to me? What? Get him to take you to lunch today. Call him up. <laughs> you must be kidding. No, I'm not. Here's the phone. Use it. What is this, Call a or something, Scotty? No, you're the one that says you've got him in such command. You don't think I can do it, do you? I just want to see you operate on the good doctor. Give me the phone. Main desk, Miss Vining. Can I help you? Hello, Miss Vining. It's Heather. May I please speak to Alan Quartermain? May I ask what this is regarding? No. Just put him on the phone. I don't have any time for your silly questions, Amy. Oh, and it's always a pleasure talking with you two. Hold on just a second. Dr. Quartermain, it's for you. Thank you. Hello? Dr. Quartermain, I'm so happy I could get through to you. Who is this, please? Well, it's Heather. Don't you recognize my voice? I'd recognize yours anywhere. Heather, I have a very busy schedule today. What's on your mind? Oh, it's very important. I wouldn't have called you if it wasn't urgent. Uh, well, can you discuss it on the phone? I don't think that would be appropriate. Heather, what is this all about? Well, it's Jason and, and Susan. I mean, something dreadful has happened, and I, I think we should discuss it. I see. Well, what about over lunch? That would be just fine. At Dino's? I'll be there. All right. Twelve o'clock, then. Fine, Dr. Quartermain. And have a good morning. Well? Need you ask? I gotta hand it to you, Heather. You know how to manipulate people better than anybody. Except for me. As long as you understand that, you'll be fine. You certainly know a great deal about General Hospital. Well, of course, it's a cause that's been very close to my heart. Lila's, too. She runs all sorts of charity things for them. You know, bazaars, uh, card parties, art exhibitions, that sort of thing. It brings in peanuts, but what the hell, it keeps her occupied. <laughs> I'm sure it does. The contribution that I have in mind is uh, quite substantial. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, well, you've given me a very broad picture of the multifaceted aspects of the hospital. There is one area in which I am um, I'm particularly interested in. Oh, is that right? Yes, provided, of course, that it's of interest to the hospital. Well, I don't know of any area they don't want to expand. Now, just what is your particular interest? Well, uh, you'll forgive me if I'm a little personal. Well, you have my confidence. Thank you. I, uh, I don't usually talk about this. It's, uh, it's too painful. But I lost someone who was very close, very, very dear to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Recently? Some time ago, but I still can't forget it. It was a needless, painful and untimely loss, all due to inadequate post-operative care. Well, that's dreadful. If there'd been the proper equipment, I won't prolong this. Needless to say that I'm more than aware of the need for up-to-date intensive care units where lives can be saved and lost in seconds. 
course, that's an area that has concerned the hospital board for some time. Recently, we did expand the cardiac intensive care unit. Uh, oh, I'm sure Steve Hardy would welcome your interest. Oh, I'm sure they can always use additional support. Oh, yes, no doubt. I'd be very interested, if it's possible, to see the unit for myself. Well, I'd be happy to give you a tour, personally. Oh, that's very gracious. Oh, not at all. It's my pleasure. Is it possible that it could be arranged for this afternoon? Well, I'll call them. We could go over there right now. Splendid. Oh, uh, one thing, however, I very much doubt that we'd be able to see intensive care itself. Oh, well, that would be my main reason for visiting the hospital. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, let me see. Uh, Monica. I beg your pardon? My daughter-in-law. You met her the other day. Oh, yes, yes. How could I forget? She's married to son, yes. Yeah, well, you might say that. But uh, whatever she is, she's a doctor. She's also a surgeon. Yes, I remember. Yes, she's a, a very talented woman. Mm. Yeah, well, that's debatable. However, she could show you anything you want to see. As a matter of fact, she could walk you right into intensive care and nobody would say a word. Would she be free? I'll call her right now. Thank you. What can I do for you? Oh, sure, I'll ring her office right... Oh, never mind, I don't even have to bother. She's right here. Hold on, half a second. It's for you. It's your father-in-law. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, Edward. Are you calling to tell me you missed me at breakfast? Basil Corso is here in my office. Oh, you had breakfast with Basil Corso? Well, we've just had a rather extensive conversation about General Hospital. Thinking of buying it, is he? <clears throat> he is uh, considering making a considerable donation. Oh, uh, excuse the flippancy. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. At any rate, uh, he's particularly interested in the area of intensive care. However, he can tell you all about it when he sees you. Sees me? Thank you, my dear. I, uh, I told him you'd be delighted to give him a tour. Edward. Uh, this morning, if it's convenient. Ed Edward, what if I said it isn't convenient? Uh, well, how good of you to rearrange your schedule. Lucky I, had, I don't have surgery. Ah, good, good. He'll be right over. Look, you better just hope there is not an emergency between now and then. <laughs> I know you'll take good care of him. I do it myself, Monica, but you know so much more than I do. Well, I don't believe you finally admitted it. About the hospital. Rat think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Monica, sometimes I can't help but think my son is a saint. <laughs> <laughs> Joke? Oh, that's, uh, that's Edward, Steve, but it really isn't a laughing matter. Oh, well, what's up? Well, it seems that, um, Basil Corso is coming over here for a tour of the hospital. Charles's brother? Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, he just might be a potential contributor. Well, good. We can use all of those we can get. He seems to be very interested in the ICU unit, and I think he'd probably want to talk to you later. Well, just let me know when. Oh, oh by the way, he'll need a pass to get into ICU. Oh, oh that's There'll right. There'll be no problem for you, Marks, up there, but uh, you'd better come to my office with me now, and I'll write one out for Miss Corso. Good. Thank you, Steve. I will. Amy, uh, if Mr. Corso arrives, would you have me page? I sure will. Thank you. I need four addresses. Phone book right over there. Um, yeah, th uh, but these are contained on that first list that you showed me. Oh, okay. Thank you. Only four out of all this? Well, I was able to narrow it down. Really? How? Well, it was pretty simple, actually, because, uh, like, like that's a gas truck, and it's pretty obvious that Luke couldn't have made his getaway on the gas truck. Yeah? Well, it was the same with the, uh, the garbage compactor and, and then the oxygen truck. What I got it narrowed down to were the caterers, acorn florist, jumping jack janitorial, and oaks cleaning and laundry. You're a regular Sherlock Holmes, aren't you? Elementary, my dear Watson. Well, I will copy these addresses onto your list. How's that? Thank you. It's really amazing how you can figure these things out. Just like Captain Ramsay. Well, he taught me a lot. Yeah? Well, he must have, because these are the same four addresses he asked me for. What? I said, these are the same four addresses that he asked me for. Why didn't you tell me that? You didn't ask. I can't wait. 
I get in trouble when I talk too much, and I get in trouble when I don't say enough. All oh, right, come on in. I want you to check out the Oaks Laundry and Cleaners. I would have done it myself, but it's all the way on the other side of town, and I didn't want to be away from here that long. What do you want? Check out the itinerary of the truck that delivered to General Hospital on September 10th. I've already checked out the caterers, and they say they had a man in the back of that truck the whole day, and if Luke had tried to sneak in there, they would have seen him. I get a hunch about that laundry. I'll get right on it. Okay, and as soon as you get that itinerary, bring it back to me. I'm waiting for a call from the florist or the janitorial supply company. One of them is going to lead us to Luke Spencer. Agent Morton. Mr. Scorpio. Pleasure. Oh, thank you. And uh, thank you for your quick work. All takes time. Tell me about it. Well, what have you got? Well, we checked through our files and uh, matched up the numerical characteristics that you gave us. Guy, okay. I'm anxious to see whose prints these belong to. It's all yours. What's this? 79 match set A. Label. 103 match set B. You see? Labeled 182 people. Give or take. How do I track down 182 people? Slowly. Now, good. I haven't got the time. I, I need pictures. That isn't fast either. Faster than sifting through that lot. Can you get them? Sure, we can get them. You know what you're asking? Nothing more than the FBI asked of me once in uh, Liverpool, I believe. Old time's sake, huh? This is vital, mate. Besides, it's nothing less than I wouldn't do for you. As a matter of fact, the next time you need 182 pictures, I'm your boy. It'll take a little time. I'll wait. If I can just find out the information that Dan Rooney wanted those prints for, I can put this puzzle together. Oh, well, there's our chief of staff now. Uh, Dr. Steve Hardy, this is Mr. Basil Corso. Welcome, Mr. Corso. Uh, Amy called me to say that you were on your way up. Oh, I'm delighted you could make time to see me, Dr. Hardy. Oh, it's our pleasure. I appreciate your interest in the hospital. In fact, we're especially interested in upgrading our ICU. Yeah, well, it's fortunate that our interests go inside. <laughs> Well, we like to have a chance to show off once in a while. I have already shown Mr. Corso the cardiac unit. Yes, Edward, uh, Edward tells me you're leading the field in that area. Yes, yes, that's true. Uh, Monica will show you anything you want to see. She's our very best guy. Well, thank you, see. Shall we? Yes, by all means. I'll be talking to you, sir. Right. Uh, hold that over there. Oh, uh, incidentally, I think I should tell you, we are, you're going to be confronted with something we don't normally have in these halls. What's that? A uh, police officer. Well, he's not in uniform, but it seems that one of Dr. Dante's patients has met with a rather bad accident, and the police think it might be attempted murder. Oh, yes, yes. I was there the night that that happened. Ah. Oh. Well, in any event, you're going to need a special pass to get into ICU. Oh, I'm glad you got me that. That is the purpose of my visit. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, Mark, Dr. Dante said that one of his patients, too, is uh, your brother, what, uh, Charles Corson? Yes, yes, he's taking excellent care of him. Well, Mark is the best. But with a distinct disadvantage over you, Doctor. Oh, what? Well, he's not nearly as attractive. Well, thank you. Uh, this way. All right. Compact, but however, the newer equipment is going to give us a lot more space and a lot fewer mechanical problems. Mechanical problems? I hope the patients don't suffer. Well, luckily, we have two ICU units on town. As a matter of fact, uh, Dan Rooney was just moved down here and we discovered a problem with one of the monitors at the end of the hall. But I may assure you that everything is working fine right now. All three patients are being monitored at the same time? Yes, indeed. In fact, we were talking about for uh, the unit is an intra-aortic balloon pump. Well, actually, that's his gas blood analyzer. Would that be of assistance to these patients? Well, yes, because you see, let me see if I can... Oh, Dr. Quartermain, you're one at the hub. Oh, well, thank you. I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me. Oh, by all means, sir, take your time. Yes, Mr. Corso is just going to look around.
alarm in ICU. Rhythm's dropping close to 40. General Hospital will continue in a moment. 